Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to set up your side quest on your Android device so you can wirelessly, yes, that's wirelessly install games onto your Oculus Quest. So this video will be using Quest, Android device, and you will initially need a cable. So there's a couple of different cables types of cable you can get you can get USB directly to USB C or you can get like a, a what I've got here USB A on one end USB C on the other end and I'm using like a OTG adapter so USB C male and then USB A female either one works this assumes that you have a phone with OTG if you got a relatively new phone you should be fine if not then you'll need to enable wireless mode using your computer and then you can still use the quest app on your phone so to enable wireless mode on your computer I created a separate video covering that so feel free to check that out there'll be a link in the description to the oculus playlist and you can see all the videos including that on there so now what we are going to do is first of all you need to go to your phone and on the phone you want to go to the play store and then on the play store you want to search for what was we searching for again i uh, know side quest go to the side quest app click install i've already got it installed so i've only got an open button and now we need to also make sure our Oculus device is in developer mode. Chances are you probably come in here from some other tutorial, probably already is in developer mode, but just in case it isn't, I'll show you how to do that as well. So open up your web browser, any browser of choice is fine, and you want to go to developer.oculus.com forward slash manage forward slash organization forward slash create. Or also make sure you're logged into you know the Oculus website using your Facebook account. I'll provide a link in the description to this page so you can also just click it directly. So once you open it up, create an organization, you will need a unique name. So I'm gonna say, hey, it's any, anything will be fine. Uh, but as long as it's unique, a unique name, scroll to the right, click submit. And if we give you some error about it not being valid, that will just be because it's not unique. Click submit. So you just need an organization created for you to be at enable developer mode. And that that that's it. So if he asks you about, you know, putting in some debit card details, you know, some payment details or something else, that's just extra verification that Oculus does. They're not going to take any payment from you. I know some people are annoyed by that and it is the way it is. Not really much you can do about that. You have to put that in. It's not charging you. It's it's literally just for verification purposes. So now, if you go to your homepage, go to Oculus, and go to Devices, and obviously just choose your device, and then go to Developer Mode, Headset connection required, please make sure your headset is on and ready. So just make sure, I'm just gonna put it on, make sure it's on. For some reason the headset is restarted. I'll just do a force turn off. And then let's turn it back on. Okay, so my headset's turned back on. Probably won't have that issue. I don't know. It was on literally just before I created the video. I'm just waiting for it to turn back on.
Okay, so the headset is has come back on. Let's just have confirmed Guardian or Luster. Confirm Guardian. Okay, so you just go on to developer mode. It's not found. Just click connect. Obviously, it's a lot easier if you use the mobile device that you use to actually, you know, configure your headset. Click developer mode, and then make sure this is blue. So you just press it on like so, and you're in developer mode. Next, what you want to do is open the SideQuest app. And in here, you see at the bottom, it has a little red color circle. And that's because, well, it's not connected. So if you go to the left icon, and it's saying you need to enable Wi-Fi mode. So pretty simple. Like I said, you want to plug one end of your USB stick into your headset. The other end, either into an OTG adapter and then plug that into your device, or if it's USB-C on both ends, into your phone but again feel free to and i'll recommend googling your phone so for my google pixel 5 otg see if it supports it if you're unsure if it does just pop us a message on the discord group in the oculus channel and we'll help you out so it says you may need to accept a prompt on the target device if you are connecting it for the first time so i'm going to put my headset on it's saying allow you speed debugging i'm going to select always allow from this computer allow Allow USB debugging again, always allow from this computer, allow, allow access to data, click allow. And now, SideQuest installer, I'm going to put, check, always open SideQuest installer when Quest 2 is connected, click OK. And as you can see, it's gone green. So now, what we can actually do is go over here and click wi enable Wi-Fi. So, Wi-Fi should now be enabled. So if we unplug this, as you can see, it takes a few seconds, but it does go green. So now that it's green, you can install something. So the app I always choose, because it's not too big, and it's free, is T for God, and click install to headset, installing, and you can go down to here. First of all, it's got to download it, of course. And next, you will install it wirelessly to your headset. Now it is installing it. Obviously, depending on your phone and its Wi-Fi chip in there, it may take longer or faster. Because when I tried this on my computer using wireless mode, it was a lot quicker. But, you know, that's got a better wireless chip in there. It's actually doing it directly from the router. Okay, so that's it we're all done and if you was to put your headset on so let me just show you where in the headset you would go so let me do so if i just share the screen So you should be seeing the screen any moment now. If somebody's got this issue, it's always just going picture in picture. I'll snap it over here. Can't scroll. Okay, I'll just do it like this. If somebody's always on the right. It's, it's stranger than all. Why does that? Okay, so now, if we have a look, you just go to apps, you just go to this all button, scroll down, unknown sources, and there we go, T for God, click on it, or anything else that you've installed will appear here as well. And that's literally, I'm going to quit out of it, literally that simple too. Let me close this down and close that down. So literally that simple to install SideQuest on your mobile device so you can wirelessly install games to your device. Multiple benefits. One, it is wireless. Two, you could actually use the cable still. So this is applicable 
this video is applicable even if you want to use a wire but use your mobile device and the other benefit of this is you might be out and about and you might be able to use wireless or using your cable for example let's say you're on the train or something you don't have your laptop or somewhere else you don't have your laptop but you got your quest you've got your phone boom good to go it's really simple there's none of you know some adb bridge rubbish and there's none of that trying to make connections this is really simple so thank you for watching like i said there's a link in the description to the discord group there's an oculus channel plus many others so feel free to check them out if you have any questions and i look forward to seeing you in the next video